Well, Shannon, you're on the air. Hi there, Dr. Wallach. Um, I Hi. just want to let you know we're, my family is really happy. We've been on the products for five months. But I have a question for a friend of mine. Her name okay. is Shelly. She's 59 years old and a little over a year ago was um, diagnosed with ALS. And um, she just last week received a feeding tube, so she is no longer able to take anything in by mouth. Okay. And um, she did. How much does she weigh? So I need to know what products and how do we get eggs and how how can we help her? Okay. How how, how much does she weigh? She's under a hundred pounds. Okay, so maybe ninety to a hundred pounds, something yeah. like that. Okay. Uh, is she being fed with a G-tube, a gastric tube going into her stomach? Yeah. Okay. Or a peg right. tube. Is that the same as mm-hmm. a peg tube? Okay. It could be. Okay. As long as it's going into her stomach. Okay. So, anyway, any rate, um, Charmaine? Yes. Okay. How would you feed this gal who's being fed with a G-tube or a peg tube? Okay. How would you feed her? Well, you have to, like make raw eggs and just open up all the supplements and everything and the powder and just mix it all up into a liquid and then put it in the tube. And there's a nurse down in the south someplace that had her brother, same thing. He didn't have, he wasn't, he was diagnosed with ALS, but he, anyway, he didn't have that, but he did get better from taking the products. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, there's, there was another guy here in Michigan who also had, um, ALS, who did have ALS. Yeah. He did uh, uh, get better, right? Remember him? I do remember him, Roger. Yep. Yeah, Roger Kirkby. Yep. yep. Okay, and so basically what you need to do is make a, a smoothie or a shake. doesn't matter what taste it is, if it's been put into a peg tube or, or a G-tube, and um, it's got to go into the stomach, be fed uh, two or three times a day with small amounts, maybe even four times a day with small amounts, but... Uh, at uh, 100 pounds, probably should be taking in six eggs a day, three at breakfast, three at dinner time. Okay. Or two, two, and two, however you want to do it. If you're going to feed them three or four of these uh, shakes or smoothies a day. And as Char said, you can open up the capsules, you can grind up the tablets. And of course, the liquids are easy. Uh, you got to stay away from Ensure uh, and Boost. And all those things are made from oils because they turn into trans fats, heterocyclamines, and acrylamides, just what you don't want when you have Parkinson's disease, ALS. Um, MS and hunting disease. And so yeah, I'd, I'd go for a minimum of six eggs and stay away from all those uh, easy, convenient things that are in a can or a box or a bottle. Uh, again, um, ensure and boost and anything like them because they do have the oils in them which oxidize and turn into trans fats, heterocyclamines, and acrylamides. And then uh, what you do is you give us a call in two weeks and four weeks and six weeks. Let us know how uh, this... Um, a person's doing, Shelly, how she's doing. And so we'll be happy to uh, walk through this with you. We've seen many, many people with Parkinson's disease, ALS, um, uh, MS, and Huntington's disease get better. And so it's a matter of staying away from the bad stuff to stop the ongoing damage because it's self-inflicted, how you cook and what you eat. You've got to get rid of the bad cooking and also get rid of the oils and um, processed meats with tra- trans fats and things like that. And then, of course, the 90 essential nutrients and the eggs to help the body maintain and rebuild the myelin of the brain, which is damaged when you have ALS. 